Hey guys, this is Joe from Balls Deep Reptiles. And it's been a little while since I've done a video, but since we got this big hurricane rolling through, um, and I've been laying in bed all day watching it rain, so I figured I'd shoot a quick video of the available animals I have right now. Um, first off is a 2012 female spider. Um, pretty girl she's a really good eater probably I don't know maybe 200 grams or something like that um, I did not produce this girl uh, I got her from a, a friend of mine who produced her who was getting out of the business uh, that's the first one let's see Next up is a male champagne who is 50% het ghost and he's a little fired up. Um, and after a couple more meals he'll be ready to go. But I did produce him. Uh, he was from champagne het ghost. I'm doing this just so he don't bite me. But, uh, champagne het ghost to a normal and he's had a few meals but I want to get a couple more meals in him before I let him go uh, but he's available and I'm not putting any prices on anything on here just because I don't agree with it uh, some people put prices on stuff and uh, you know the market changes and things like that happen so <clears throat> um, this little male has not eaten yet, but once we get him started, he will be available. Um, he's out of the same clutch, and he is also 50% het ghost. Um, he's just not ready to start eating yet. Sometimes they take a little bit longer, um, but we will get him going. But that's him. <clears throat> he looks like he wants to tag me, which. The champagnes usually have been very good eaters, um, a little aggressive in the beginning, but you know, my adult male has never tried to bite me. Um, but that's him. I said he'll be available once we get once we get some more food in him. Um, I want to start. I'd like trying to start him out on rat pups, um, but occasionally I will pick up some mice from the pet store. Um, let's see, we have, this is a normal female that is from my, one of my big jean girls, uh, mom was 44, or, uh, 4,400, 4,500 grams, uh, she is 66% het for albino, and she's had three meals, she's, I'm gonna feed everybody probably this week again, so, she is just about she's ready to go but hopefully she uh gets really big and there's a belly shot it's just a normal head albino but um they're from the uh the sub-saharan line so these are gonna be big big girls actually hatched out pretty big too so uh, she was, she was, whoa, she almost got away. It was 80 grams when she hatched, just about. Uh, here's her sister from the same clutch. She's available. Oops, she's fired up. She's had a few meals also. Um... Same thing, 66% head albino from a big jean girl, um, sub-Saharan line. Uh, come on. Put her back. And let's see. I have one female 
pinstripe left, left from that clutch. Um, she's ready to go. She's had a few meals. Um, she was also, she was born in the clutch with the albino pin female. Yeah, she wants to tag me. Calm down. There we go. But she's a pretty girl. The other female went to uh, my buddy Keith. And this girl is available. Um, if she doesn't sell, I'm not too worried about it because I'm really interested to see, being from this, you know, sub Saharan mother, how big she gets. So. If she doesn't sell, I'll hold on to her, but she's available. I'm keeping the pin, albino pin female, so. Alright. Back from some of our early clutches, or one of my earliest clutches, I still have three female black pastels available. Um, these have all had numerous meals eating frozen thawed and everything so they are definitely ready to go they're I'm sure pushing a couple hundred grams now that's the first one show you a female number two because she's got a bad shed going on. She's in the middle of the shed and uh, here is female number three. She's a little bit smaller but she's had plenty of meals. Uh, I don't know, seven meals so far. And uh, oh, I forgot these are uh, also these are 66% het for ghost which I failed to, they came out of a uh, black pastel het ghost to a het ghost female and so she's ready to go. Put her back, I'm holding on to one of them, came out with a really dark black back. Uh, let's see. I got this guy that is awesome, but I just really don't have any breeding plans for him. He was produced by Colin Weaver. He is a male black pastel ghost. Um, he's definitely breeder size. He locked up last year um, at about 350 grams, and I'm saying he's probably 500 grams now. Um, if people are really interested, I will put a put him on a scale but and he is in shed so he is definitely he's a smoker when he's uh, out of shed he's beautiful but yeah, he's definitely starting you can see he's got a shed going on he's his tummy's getting real pale but that's him he's available uh, let's see what else we got here yeah. Female pastel that was produced by a friend of mine. Um, she's nice. She's a nice pastel. She's definitely she's got good a uh, good appetite. She's a 2012. Um, she is also 50% head albino. So if somebody's interested in that, there she is. albino male. I'm not going to bother showing you. They're just normals. Um, I have some normal males, 50% head for ghost. Uh, I have a male normal that's 66% head albino. Uh, what else we got? I think 
that's it for the babies for right now. Um, I do have, let's see, I have a male uh, spider yellow belly that is available. And you can see that this is a spider yellow belly. The yellow belly it just really comes out in the spider. I don't know how if you can see really well on here, but I mean this belly is yellow. So he's available. Um, if he's uh, if I don't sell him, I might end up using him with a a female that I think may be a pet puma, um, something like that, but. Let's see, last but not least, we have a male cinnamon. Uh, he's about, uh, probably about 600 grams now. Um, that is 100% het for albino. And he, a buddy of mine bought him from Fireball Reptiles in Florida. Um, no paperwork, but what happened to this guy, you can see this big scar down his back. He escaped out of his tub and was loose for, I don't know, a week or so. And he just got himself squished into every place he could get, I guess, and just scarred his back up really, really bad. Um, it's not going to stop him from breeding and producing, you know, albino cinnamons. And I, I love cinnamons. I just think he's gorgeous. Um, and we can check here to see. I can show you. That's a male. And these are sperm plugs. If I can find out where the camera is. So he's ready to roll. If uh, somebody's got some, wants to work on an albino cinnamon project, here you go. So that's it for the availables. Thanks for watching.